Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 4 of grade 3. Please write your name first. And let's see, we're looking at rectangles below. These all have the same area. So this whole page, all of these, this long, wicked, skinny rectangle, and this square and this one that's a little bit thicker and they all have the same area all five of these have the same area it says move the parentheses to find the unknown side lengths so the easiest one to look at to figure out the area is the one by 36 uh, rectangle for b which is at the top even though it's not a it's b 1 times 36 is 36 the area is 36 square centimeters and we know that these are all the, these all have the same area it told us right here so these are all going to have products of 36 and this is 4 times 9 and this is 2 times something for 36. Well, you can see here. That's 2 times 2 times 9. Taking 4 times 9 and thinking of the 4 is 2 times 2. And if we move the parentheses as it says from the left to the right pair then now we have two times two times nine so instead of two times two times nine we have two times two times nine which is two times an outright this that's this two here and this two times nine is eighteen so we have 2 times 18, which is 36 square centimeters. Which means that this side here has to be 18. For D, I'll zoom in on D. The area here, it says, it tells us it's 4 times 9. 4 times 9. And if we take this 9 and call it 3 times 3, in parentheses, then we move the parentheses to call this Instead of 4 times 3 times 3, we're calling it 4 times 3 times 3. So this 4 times 3 goes here. 4 times 3 is 12 times, and this 3 is just still just 3. 12 times 3 is 36, so it's 36 square centimeters. And now we'll look at uh, this one, this area here, looking at... 12 times 3 equals 6 times 2, right? If we look at the 12 as 6 times 2, and it's times 3, then we can change this to have the parentheses, parentheses around the 2 times 3 instead of around the 6 times 2. Which means now we have this is just a 6, and it's 6 times 6. Because 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 is just 6. 6 times 6 is 36, 36 square centimeters. And it makes sense that it, this looks like a square because it has equal sides. All right, now. Does problem one show all the possible whole number side lengths for a rectangle with an area of 36 square centimeters? How do you know? Well, looking at it, which ones do we have? 
I mean, how many ways are there? How many factors does 36 have is really what the question is. Um, we've got factors of, let's see, I'll use the pink one to highlight them. We No, or I'll just use my yellow highlighter. We've got 4 and 9. We have 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 4 and 9. Right, 4 and 9, 9 and 4. And 6 and 6. So really, it's like other any other factor pairs for 36 is the question. So we've got 1 and 2. Uh, is 3 a factor? Is 3 a factor for uh, 36? Do we have 1? Right, I'm just counting here. I'm looking at, we've got 1. I'll use red to highlight this. We've got 1 and 2. What comes next is 3. Could 3 be a factor of 36? Well, it is. Right? And we don't have that one yet, do we? It's not showing. Uh, and it would be 3... Uh, it would be 3 twelves would make 36. So... Or 12 threes. So we can say that... Uh... Problem one does not show all side lengths. Cause 3 times 12 equals 36. There are a lot of factor pairs for 36. So just looking, you just look at the for what's missing. 1, 2, 3, we have, so that's 3 would work, right? 4 we have here. 5 won't work because um, that's 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and that skips over 36. Uh, skip counting by 6 is we know that'll work because we already have 6 times 6. Uh, skip count by 7s, and you'll find that you skip from uh, 35 to 42. You skip over 36, so 7 can't be a factor. Uh, 8. Um, 8 doesn't work because that goes from 32 to 40. It skips over 36, so 8's not a factor. And we already know that 9 is because we found 9 here. And then we're on to 10s. And 10's uh, not a factor because it doesn't, it doesn't have a 0 for the 1's place. 36 doesn't have a 0 in the 1's place. But we could, if we wanted to find all the other ones and make sure that there were, that was the only one that was missing, we could go on like that. Uh, find the area of the rectangle below. Well, this is 8 times 6. 48 square centimeters. Uh, Hilda says a 4 by 12 centimeter rectangle has the same area. Place parentheses in the equation to find the related fact and solve. Is Hilda correct? 4 by 12 rectangle. Does it have the same area? So this is asking, is 4 times 12 equal to 8 times 6? That's the question, really. Because if they have the same area, then those multiplication expressions are equal. So we're just re we're placing parentheses in the equation to find the related fact and solve. We're going to take this 12 here and make it 6 times 2, or 2 times 6, right? Because that equals 12. And then we move the parentheses, we can call this 8 times 6, right? Which is what we're looking at. That's going to be 
4 times 2 is 8, and the 6 is just 6. 8 times 6 is 48, 48 square centimeters. That's all we had to do. And now use the expression 8 times 6 to find different side lengths for a rectangle that has the same area as the rectangle in part A. Here's part A. So that's 48 square centimeters, 8 times 6. That's the expression. So can we find another one? Well, let's see, we can make it 8 times 6 is 2 times 3, isn't it? So we could do 8 times and replace the 6 with 2 times 3. And then we can move the parentheses to 8 times 2 times 3, like that. And then 8 times 2 is 16. So that's 16 times 3. And show your equations using parentheses. All right, so all of this stuff, this is all 48, right? Because all we did was break the 6 down into the two time, the factors of 2 times 3, and then move the parentheses and solve that thing in the parentheses, solve the expression inside the parentheses, the 8 times 2. And the whole thing equals 48 every step of the way. So estimate to draw the rectangle and label the side lengths. So here we go. We need a long side and a side that's not so long. And do we have units to label this for? We do. They're centimeters. So these have to be centimeters. Now I'm not going to solve this problem uh, more. It, it, I could solve it other ways. There are other rectangles that have areas of of uh, 48 square centimeters that we haven't done yet and i'm not going to go through and solve every single one of them so you just wanted to say that you don't have to have 16 times 3 there are other ways there are other ways to do it as long as they multiply out to be 48